Okay, hello YouTube and YouTube subscribers. I guess today it's time to do a little species profile. You know I have not kept this fish for that long. I've long been a fan of it and I've done quite a bit of background research on it before I bought them. So this is what you're looking at here is the programmy, formerly called Trigogaster leary. Now it's actually called Trigopotus leary. It's in the same genus as the Blue Grammys, also called Spod Grammys, the, and the Snakeskin Grammys, and Moonlight Grammys. And it is this Grammy and the Blue Grammy that are the most common members of the genus Trigopotus that are available at stores. They're a little bit less common than the Spod Grammys, but they're not rare. They're actually very common. But Now, in terms of water conditions, they are a very adaptable fish. I'd say pH between 6 to 9. They can live in hard water or soft water. It's not going to really matter that much to them. It's just because they have a relatively... Well, they're relatively adaptable in terms of water parameters and stuff. And like all Grammys, they have a labyrinth organ, so you don't have to air pump your tank if you're using proper filtration. Because they don't require much oxygen from water. They obtain most of their oxygen from the air. From the actual air. Like, just right there. The guy just went and got some air. And, um, just like all the other Grammys that I've done species profiles on, they are sexually dimorphic. And as you can tell right here, this fish here is male. He's got a fairly large dorsal fin. He's also gained these little uh, extended serrations on his uh, anal fin. But those are still developing since this guy, he's just reached maturity. He's about two inches long. And you can tell the female is here. A little bit smaller, a little bit pudgier. Not not that big of a color difference, in my opinion, actually. The males seem to have a bit more red in the base of the uh, anal fin. And they, they get a bit of red going up towards the uh, face and along the, uh, I guess you call it the belly area also. And um, since these are juvenile programmies, they're in 10 gallon. But when these guys get older, they get to about 3 to 4 inches. Sometimes even 5, but usually 3 to 4 inches. So I'd say probably a 20 gallon tank. Preferably 20 gallon long would probably be the minimum tank size for these guys. And um, one thing that's the key difference between them and the Spod Grammy, pretty much everything else is identical between those two species in terms of parameters, is the temperament. Now, Pearl Grammys, I've seen plenty of tanks where you have Pearl Grammys living with tiny tetras and they don't like attack them. The Spod Grammy, it'd probably be something opposite would likely happen, since Spod Grammys are, generally speaking, they're quite often not that friendly. The Pearl Grammy is a lot more passive. They don't tend to have, display any real aggression towards their tank mates. Some people even say they're actually shy around uh, more active fish. So that's one of the key differences. And our difference I've noticed is that the males of Pearl Grammys don't seem to harass females constantly, like Spod Grammys do. Spod Grammy males, if you have one male with one female, he'll just harass her constantly until she basically dies. And this male, although he's being somewhat territorial towards a female, he isn't chasing her around the tank like a crazed maniac, which is basically what Spod Grammy would do. So and overall, the Pearl Grammy is more peaceful fish. And I'd say if the Spod Grammy would probably be a bit better for big, bigger tanks. Just because they're more active and they're a little more bosphorous. But these uh, pearls, they're probably the better beginner fish, in my opinion. You know, they're said to be just a little bit less hardy than the Spod Grammys. Maybe because they haven't been domesticated as long, but they're more peaceful. So I'm saying that if you're going to want to get a medium-sized Grammy, and you want to keep it with small fish, I'd recommend keeping the Pearl Grammy over the Spod Grammy. Just because they're a lot friendlier. So I covered the body size, I covered the temperature requirement, is that's one thing that I was missing. Temperature requirement, this is a general tropical fish. I'm keeping these guys at, I think, 24 degrees, but their temperature range is between 22 and 30 degrees. The other problem with that upper range I just gave you, if you're keeping them between 28 and 30 degrees, you might start to condition them for spawning. And if you manage to get them to spawn in your aquarium, you might be in for a little bit of trouble, because that's when they get very aggressive. Males will kill other fish if they do spawn in your aquarium. So overall the Spod Grammy is probably, I mean not Spod, the Pearl Grammy is probably the best starter Grammy in my opinion. It has more hardiness than the Dwarf Grammy 
and it is less aggressive than the Blue Grammy. And also has the size, that mean that you can keep it in larger tanks where it can still be a very pronounced display fish. Unlike the Dwarf Grammy, which kind of gets a bit overshadowed in larger tanks. So if you want a good central display fish for a medium-sized community tank, I would recommend going with the Pearl Grammy. So thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.